Hi traders, it's Tomek here from Nikos Trading Academy and welcome in my weekly Forex forecast. So last week we had some news and those news created some momentum. So I hope this momentum will uh, still last because we have uh, summertime. So it sometimes it's not obvious. We can we can only have short period uh, or short time moves. Then the price might stop for a while to wait for another opportunities. So just keep in mind about that by trading uh, during the summertime. Time. I personally completely don't trade in August, uh, so this is the time where I uh, rest because uh, definitely there is not much uh, for me. Uh, and I still have some pairs which we can follow, but before that, I would like to invite you to visit my uh, website dedicated to my mentorship program. Um, you will find all details about uh, how I uh, see this plan for you. Basically, my main goal is to teach you this mindset part because this is the most important part in trading. A lot of uh, traders uh, just follow the only technical part, focusing on the new strategies, new indicators, etc. But in trading, most uh, important is this because uh, basically, it's not uh, trading is not about the strategy system indicator. It's all about the mindset at some point. So that's why uh, a lot of people struggle because they don't understand where to look uh, and they don't know how to work with the, mind, with, uh, with the mindset and in my mentorship of course I will show you exactly technique which I personally use so you will exactly know how to approach trading from uh, this uh, from this part if you want to speak with me uh, you can just uh, leave your name and uh, email here in this contact forum and I will get back to you uh, so we can just chat and I will see if I can help you uh, and I will also ans answer all your uh, questions. Okay, so now let's go to our charts. First pair is Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar. Uh, the weekly chart is still in the range. As you can see, we don't have clean direction. However, it uh, for now seems that it's trying to build something. Um, we started to have uh, higher low on the weekly chart as you can see uh now we had this previous wedge uh, which was broken uh here yes it's it was like that so it uh, but the price stopped on this resistance now uh it seems that uh, it's making uh this uh, higher lows and it also looks like a potential long one to three on the weekly after this trend line breakout so this is interesting because if if this uh, will, if this holds, we can have situation that maybe we'll get new trend and maybe price will even try to reach this previous tops. Right now, it seems to be interesting. However, before uh, we still have to pay attention for that level. Okay, so it's not. Uh, to be sure, or at least to have bigger chance or probability that price might continue, we need to break this level. Uh, so you see daily chart, uh, new new trend line, of course, is uh, coming right now. We had the strong move. Uh, I think there was uh, also entry, possible uh, possible entry, but uh, I. I I missed this, yes, but there was option to enter, as you can see. So this would be winning trade. Uh, from the weekly perspective, like I took on the GP Swiss franc and New Zealand Swiss franc. Uh, now let's go to daily. Uh, so now what we can do. Uh, now we know that this level is important. For now, price is pointing up. So uh, retracement uh, to the 36, you look for long scenarios, target that. Okay, so this is option number one. Uh, option number two is that maybe price won't hold 36 but we'll go to this line if it goes to this line this is also area when you can buy and target preview stop yes uh, because maybe price will maybe will stay here and then we'll get some breakouts okay uh, so this is option what we have and uh, currently you see four hour chart is pointing up we also have this trend line um, so basically uh, lower time frame entries are still possible four hour chart retracement to this level 15 minute long entries target preview stop because um, i still i would really be interesting interested to see that price is reaching this and then if we have uh, this level short scenarios after breakout to target daily 36 cma or this trend line 
will be okay. This is what I see for now on the Aussie dollar. New Zealand dollar, lower time frames for me are not interesting because uh, there is a lot of, you see, spikes. So I'm not, I'm not interested here. Uh, I prefer to get something first on the four hour chart and then uh, decide to make uh, other moves. So we will wait for longs here, short after breakout of this line. Swiss franc yen uh, climbing up like crazy. <laughs> As we can see, monthly chart is very visible. Yeah, so it's, you know, it's going up really for very long time. Uh, it will be four, four years right now um, here. Four years is going up on the monthly chart, yes, without even bigger retracement. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, weekly chart, you see it's strongly pointing up. Of course, uh, whenever price decide to retrace, um, if we look for trend line, we don't have clean, oh, we have just that. Yeah, so it's like with the 36 CMA, we don't have uh, resistance because the price is making historical high uh, highs. So we don't have uh, resistance here. Uh, so we have to base on the short term uh, areas. This is definitely our next support in case if price won't retrace to get a 36, 12 are support zones. But uh, I'm more interested right now what is happening on the lower time frames. This is our daily trend line again area of support here uh, you see price stopped here so i was hoping to get this retracement but it still seems that uh, it's tried to go up um, so what is uh, interesting here that uh, we can look for breakout of this it's like a wedge uh, and if this is broken if this is broken and then we still get some setups, even on the one hour chart, if you go, uh, you can still look for long scenarios, but this will be very, very late. So low risk, but you need to see that price is building something because you see if we get situation that price will stuck here, play around, like let's say here, you don't want to jump in. Okay. So be sure that price is clearly breaking after retracements. You can look for very late, late buy entries. If this is false breakout, then you can look for short scenarios to target daily 36 CMA and then daily trend line together with area of the uh, support zone. So this is what we have here. Euro GBP. This is this pair. Uh, this is the pair which I personally don't like. Don't trade uh, this at all, like Euro CHF. But it's interesting what is giving right now. We are in the downtrend on the weekly. Uh, the next area of the very strong support is at the bottom. We had previously this uh, big you know, wedge. Price broke it. Now on the lower settings, lower time frame seems it's retesting. So we can get continuation. Uh, where you no, know, this area will be good uh, for us. You see uh, why I don't like this pair. It's too noisy. Uh, but this is the area of possible uh, next goal. So daily chart is interesting because we have this daily short one, two, three. So that's why um, I like it because it's like a breakout, retest, possible continuation. Uh, so if I go to four hour chart, um, price already made this aggressive uh, long short scenario because we have, you see, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high. So basically we can start to draw this line. So aggressively and three stop loss. This was like a four hour chart, short one to three aggressive approach. If you want to be more conservative right now, you wait for this four hour chart and short scenarios after, after breakout of this line uh, or one hour time frame uh, also possible. If we get on Monday, let's say this, this is our four hour chart trend line. So if you want to protect your entry, you can place stop loss above this line in case if price just want to make some spikes and then possible continuation. But definitely short scenarios uh, are here. If you see, let's say on Monday, the price is here, uh, then you just wait for the retracements. Yes, and still look for short uh, scenarios. Okay. This is your GP using the cat. Uh, no, again, I'm discussing same pair, but uh, seems that uh, our scenario right now is happening. Of course, we said about uh, possible long scenarios after this possible long weekly one to three after this trend line breakout, or if I, you know, draw this line, 
from this uh, perspective here, the preview stop is up here, which is uh, our goal. Then uh, we have, of course, next area of the resistance, but it's too early to say for now. Uh, what is interesting that again, price, you know, stopped here. And now we have this strong candle, which is giving us like a long one tree on the daily or with on the weekly chart. So what is interesting right now, or we wait for the four hour chart set up here. Yes. We have also higher, you see, higher low. Or uh, we go to one hour time frame, and after retracement on the one hour chart, we look for possible buy scenario. So it looks quite good. I'm in the GBP cat, uh, similar situation. So let's hope that we'll get set up here. We didn't get any setups, that's why it was uh, not possible to, to, to jump in. USDN. Also, this one is climbing up new historical higher high. You see, uh, we have I have history from '98. Yes, yeah, so basically price broke it, moving up. Uh, still, very strong uh, movement. Yeah, we have this weekly trend line. So of course, whenever retracement happened, uh, 36 trend line is our goal. If price reached this, we can again expect continuations. Uh, but for now, it's cl still climbing. So now we can just wait for uh, retracements on the daily. Yes, retracements on the daily. And we look for buy scenarios still. If retracement happened from this, then long scenarios target preview stop. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> or uh, we can look for uh, lower time frames and look for possible short scenarios. Currently, it's making that. Uh, we have also. This, oops, not this line, but this this line here. So long scenario on the lower time frame still to buy and target preview stops. This okay. Short scenarios after breakout of this line. So if uh, to target daily 36 CMA daily trend line. Okay. So if we have a situation that price, let's say. Um, Breaking this, going up, will hold this, then extension of the line. You wait patiently after breakup, you can switch to one hour chart and you can look for short scenarios, target this. This will be the best uh, scenario, but uh, maybe even uh, soon we will get uh, some short setup. So whenever price do this, you want to wait and sell this. Okay, um, this is our trend line here. After breakout, 15 minute chart, you can look for a long scenarios target. Uh, this, so this is what we have on the USDN. And the last one is gold. Um, I was waiting for setups here, but I didn't get anything. Uh, still in the range right now, it daily chart is more visible. I was uh, first, I tried here. Yes, uh, I don't know if you remember when I discussed this, but uh, price just hit two targets, then immediately we were stopped out. Then change the angle of the line uh, again uh, retest of the support so i was hoping to get set up here yes really to get set up on the four hour chart uh, but you see for me there was nothing to to, to trade uh, but there was one hour chart entry uh, on but it was before the nfp so it was you see if we, if i pay attention Entry and if you place two small stop loss, so let's say you place it here, you would be stopped out uh, with this spike. If you place it lower, uh, then you would be protected. If you have situation like that, that you know, okay, I have the entry, but NFP or any important news are coming, always place bigger stop loss. Yes, always place bigger stop loss because you don't want to have situation that you are stopped out and price uh, is going in your way. Of course, it could be also that, you know, price hit this and then decide to go up, but you don't want to place, you know, here before the news because uh, this is one hour chart, so it can easily stop you out. This was only the opportunity to jump in uh, here, but you no, know, I didn't have chance. I missed this, but I'm in the silver. So if you are there, long scenarios target this. Um, if not, no, we, right now we have to wait for some retracements uh, for our chart retracement uh, here, long scenarios target previous stop or late entries uh, right now on the one hour time frame retracement and now look for buys. So for now, at least we have this uh, for me, it's more um, 
obvious where price might go. Uh, so let's hope to get this. Okay, guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching this video. Again, I would like to invite you to visit my uh, website dedicated to my mentorship program. On this website, you will find all details uh, about the benefits to have a mentor um, because uh, I also, I'm, I'm a good example that uh, you can really benefit if if you want to learn uh, because uh, you know, this is how my trading started to change when I met Nikos when I pick up his mentorship program uh, when I spent with him um, uh, my time when he teach me when he showed me uh, all the details uh, so I didn't have to figure it out by myself uh, all the things uh, because he uh, he had bigger experience and um, so you no know, after that my trading changed a lot uh, so I also so if you still struggle it's good um, idea to invest your time and also money uh, because you can only benefit as long of course as you do your job uh, my program is also uh, very complex because I don't focus only on the uh, strategies or planning but I also focus on mental part and uh, this is the most crucial part in trading and this is why people fail because uh, they are always uh, around point number one point number two they don't look for point number three some people have natural gifts uh, for mindset part that's why uh, they can achieve uh, more easily success in trading but statistics are uh, not so good because uh, we are looking in the wrong place yes because uh, all our trading obstacles which we have uh, the real uh, if i can say the real cause is in our mind not in the strategy so this is uh, when you start uh, mentorship with me uh, of course i will explain you exactly how our main uh, mind work and i will give you technique to work with your emotions beliefs and you will see and understand exactly uh, what to do um, when you trade and when you make trading journal and uh, other things okay so guys um so if you're interested just leave me your name and email um would this call is completely for free so if you even have some more questions you want to speak with me just leave your contact details i will get back to you we will speak it's not a problem we'll have a short conversation online so i will answer all your questions thanks a lot again wish you all great afternoon uh, and we hear soon bye